kind of had this sick feeling. It kind of feels like perhaps our boat is total garbage. I'm Kate, and this is my husband Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley, and my parents, Kevin and Shauna. We are three generations coming together to create the Cruising Marikee Project. Hello, sir. Welcome to day one of boat work. Yeah. And <laughs> what are you doing? What's your goal for today, this week? You see me? It's dark. We're very backlit. You want to come over here? Okay, so tell me what your uh, goals and plans are for this week. This week, goals and plans, I'm just going to release the pressure in all the blisters. Just pop them and the fluid will come out and then I'm going to get a grinder and just grind them back till it's solid glass. and then just reassess, kind of let it dry for a bit. Um, wash it out maybe a bit? Yeah, wash it out a bunch with fresh water. It actually pulls all the acids out of the hole from where the blisters were. So just give it a good clean and once it's in that and in that ready stage, then I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of weeks. Just try and let the hole dry, keep washing it out and just get working on other bits. So I'm hoping to be at that stage where it's sanded and the blisters are ground out I don't know, two or three days would be nice. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we'll see. That's awesome. You can see like on these ones here where it's got that hard crust still. Yeah. So it's still slightly loose there. So you want to kind of grind back to where it's contacted everywhere here. So that's really smooth now. Sweet. So I know there's good adhesion there and uh, I don't need to take any more off than that. Some of them will be bigger, some of them will go deeper. I can't quite explain how bad the guck coming out of these little blisters smell. Get vinegar and then go like this. It's worse than vinegar because I don't really mind the smell of vinegar. It's like moldy vinegar, if that's a thing. It is gross. Super gross. Hey. Hey. Looking pretty fancy. Yeah. You have a sperm suit too? Mm -hmm. You putting it on? Maybe. Did we try something? Yeah. Yeah, like these ones are just all totally surfaced, but this one here, for instance, that went in quite Ooh, deep. Yeah. sick feeling. I was worried that it was worse because I read about it afterwards when we had time and there's either it could be an ongoing issue, it could be fixed or it could be structural structural and beyond repair and we don't think ours is that extreme. I'll, I'll keep going. It just sucks right now. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm.
Good morning. Day two of blister grinding. Day two up on the hard. Yeah, yesterday was pretty discouraging. There was a few blisters that were a lot deeper than I thought. But by the end of the day, I started to kind of get an understanding of how it was laid up and where to grind and how much off and what to look for to know how deep to go. Yeah, I'll just show you what I got done yesterday. So ones like this where you can see the weave We'll definitely have to lay those layers back up. This one needs a little more. You can see the lighter colored stuff and that fracture. So that'll have to get ground off until that's gone. You can see the difference down there. There's another one that I'll have to patch with layers. That one can just be filled. That one needs a bit more. A lot of these lighter ones, I can just fill them and it should be enough. Uh, yesterday was I was in a good position because I could just sit on a bucket and grind it, but today I'm going to try and complete the whole side. So I'm going to have to do all these ones above my head, which is not going to be fun. But I'm just going to keep going at it all day and until this side's done. So I didn't make it to the boatyard yesterday. Um, I was busy doing other things, so I was pretty uh, excited to get here today and see how much Mitch has gotten done with these blisters. I think it's pretty work, but uh, you know, he's getting through it. He's a champ. Okay, Mick was too busy grinding when I first arrived, but he's here now. So, how are you feeling? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. It's a lot of work. Yeah, the port side of the boat's done. And I'm gonna start on the starboard side now. That's probably a quarter of the way done. So, I'm hoping by the end of tomorrow, at least the blisters we've marked will be ground out. We knew there was blisters when we bought the boat. Yep. And we want to deal with them to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're doing a good job. Thanks. This is such a weird life. I feel like super weird that the kids are at school and I'm not working and mix under the boat. You can hear, you might be able to hear him grinding away. And I'm inside the boat editing. Yeah, trying to help make film and stuff what he's doing. a wrap for me. I'll go pick up the kids now. I'm gonna do some more grinding. Yeah, have some lunch first. Ham, cheese, mayo, sanger. Can't go wrong. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. I'm feeling good now because from when we got the survey and he popped a few of those blisters, it was just the gel coat that was bubbled. And for the last two hours, they're the ones I've been grinding. So instead of holes this big, where you're going through laminate, most of them now are only this big. And I'm just having to buzz through the surface and then glue comes out and then it's dry instantly. Yeah, whereas the ones that you're gonna have to re-fiberglass are a little deeper because mm -hmm. they've gone through some of the layers of fiberglass, which is not the end of the world, but just that you're was- You're gonna help with that. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna circle all the ones that need glass. Okay. And then you'll be cutting the mat to match. Yay. Anyway, it's not uh, the end of the world. It's an old boat. We knew there were blisters. We were just really hoping not too many of them would go through the fiberglass. There's probably a little more than we'd like. About a dozen. Yeah, we would have liked none. <laughs> <laughs> but still, there's worse. There's it's been okay. worse. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. We can fix it, so it's all just, good. Just extra time now. Yeah. Uh, Monday. It's no. been here a week now. Yeah. Are you excited to see what dad's done? Yeah. He'll be impressed with how much dad's done in just a week. It's pretty great. Holy no. 
There's some big ones. There's one big one. Oh, that one's huge! So, can you see this slight line here? Yeah. Look how many there are on the cube. You see that? Mm -hmm. So there's different layers, like this is the outside. Mm -hmm. And there's like a gel coat. And it's mm -hmm. almost like a primer or something underneath. And then there's, and then there's like there. three or four different really thin layers, mm -hmm. just to give it the smooth. Mm -hmm. So sometimes water can get behind each of those layers. So I have to sand it back until it sticks to the layer behind it. Yeah. That's why some of them are really big because there's water in there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Buying a boat knowing that you have to do this. And I start Monday afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday. There will still be some spot, spot areas to grind. Hey, so you've done a really good job here grinding everything back. Thanks. You worked really hard this week to make that all happen. Yeah. I think it was four days straight grinding. Yeah, and I know you've been pretty discouraged because it kind of feels like perhaps our boat is total garbage. <laughs> is our boat garbage? Um, no, I think it's okay. I don't think it's garbage. I think uh, it's a lot of work to patch all these, but once it's done, it's gonna be safe, it's gonna be good. The uh, glassed in ones, I think the most we need is like six layers on a couple of them and that's that's more than we need. And then the rest filled because they're really shallow, it's like just below the gel coat. We were hoping they all would just be just through the gel yeah. coat and not through the fiberglass. And what we found through all the grinding is that some of them we did have to grind through the fiberglass to get to solid laminated pieces because you want to grind through anything that's delaminated. And I think what we felt is we just came across a lot more that were through the fiberglass than what we had hoped. And that's pretty disappointing and the, definitely the moment went through our head of, is this boat like, a, do we just have a total lemon? It just happened to be that where I started, where we started grinding was actually the worst spot. And then after that, there was only another dozen or so. It just happened to be like... Where you began was the worst part. And <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty discouraging <laughs> when you're grinding and grinding and grinding. And it's just going further and further back. But yeah. it's not garbage. And we believe we can fix it. And it's going to be better and safer than it was before. Oh, 100%. <laughs> what do you think? How's he doing? I think it makes a genius. Like he's really good at whatever he does. And he's doing a really good job of this. Moisture will come out, it'll be all sealed up properly, won't go back in, and uh, you're gonna have an amazing finish. Yeah, he's doing a good job. This is this is laborious work. You gotta know it takes a lot of patience for Mick. Can you imagine it's gonna look like that one day? Just smooth. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> so it's been quite the week. Yeah. A lot has, it's my first week off work. Yeah. And the first week of the boat on the hard. And your dad's accomplished a lot, but we've also come against some pretty big challenges. So it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. And we're a little worried we might not make our splash date. Mick's been talking to the marina about extending our time here. So fingers crossed, right everybody? Yeah. Cross those fingers that we can make this happen. I don't know, man. I think I'll join it. Oh, weird. I don't imagine you're ever going to hit a reef, but if ever you do, you sure have a fighting chance of uh, putting a dent in the reef rather than the other way around. This is a really interesting hull form. It's a thick keel, eh? Yeah, they really... And it's not only that, it's very heavily laid up, so this is a really... Oh, I think it's a beautiful hull form. I don't see these very often anymore. 